Yikes, the tray in your DVD player won't open. Don't panic and shell out for a new one just yet. All you may need to do is unplug the player for a few minutes to reset the electronics. If that doesn't work, your problem is likely a broken drive belt that you can fix for a couple of bucks. First, make sure your DVD player is unplugged. Determine which screws might be holding the case together and unscrew them. The screws near the audio-visual plugs on the left typically hold the plug assembly in place, not the case, so you likely won't need to loosen those screws. Looks like there are more screws to loosen underneath. Sometimes the case can be difficult to remove because locking plastic tabs are holding it firmly together. Two of the tabs fit into these two slots on the back. Release the locking plastic tabs with a flat blade screwdriver, then remove the cover. The belt should be under the tray on the left. To gain access, open the tray. Sometimes the tray slides open easily. If it doesn't, don't force it or you could damage the gears. From the front of the player, peer inside with a flashlight. You should see some gears beneath the tray. Use a flat blade screwdriver to push against the cogs on one of the gears and the tray should begin to slide open. Once the tray is open, you should be able to see a belt. This tray no longer opens because the belt is worn and loose. Sometimes the belt will be broken, or you'll see none at all because it has fallen inside. Remove the belt and save it for size. If the belt is missing, take a piece of string and wrap it where the belt should be. Then mark where the strings meet. Remove the string. Then using the marks you have made, cut the piece of string to size. The piece of string should help you determine the approximate size of a replacement belt. Take the old belt or piece of string to the plumbing section of your hardware store or home center and buy a rubber O-ring. An O-ring is used to fix a leaky faucet, but we'll use it for a new belt in the DVD player. Go for a slightly smaller size than the size of your old belt or piece of string. Put your new O-ring where the belt should go. If the tray has trouble opening, the O-ring may be too small and you may have to buy one that's a size larger. If the larger size is too loose, try loosening the smaller O-ring by stretching it a little. While you have the tray open, put some penetrating oil on a cotton swab and lubricate the tray guides. This will help keep the tray from sticking. Oil the tray guides underneath as well. Wipe up any excess oil. Then gently push the tray back into place. Now reattach the cover. Make sure the plastic tabs line up with their respective slots. Hey, there sure seems to be a lot of them. Make sure everything snaps and fits firmly in place. Again, make sure all those plastic tabs are lined up in their proper slots. Then be sure to replace all the screws. You do remember where they go, don't you? Congratulations, my friend. You have just saved yourself the cost of a new DVD player.